Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Now in the comment sections of my news videos I often get the question why do you talk about Eurovision but not about Junior Eurovision which of course is happening at the end of November. All of the songs have been selected so I could be doing my rating videos of all of the songs and talk about them but in this video I want to explain to you why I don't do that. I have several reasons, the first one being I don't think the music is the same quality as an adult Eurovision. Of course, these songs are geared towards children, which is fine for the concept of the show, but they don't really tick the boxes that I need to like a song. And there are some exceptions that sound very adult, actually, but most of them are for children and I don't really want to rate children's songs, to be honest. However, the fact that some of them sound adult actually brings me to my second reason not to talk about Junior Eurovision, and that is that I disagree with the concept as a whole. I don't think that children under the age of 16, in my opinion even 18 maybe, should be put on a stage to have all of the pressure that comes with representing a country being on that stage and then not getting a lot of points and coming last. I don't think this is the right thing for children. It kind of reminds me of these beauty pageants in the United States where they have a lot of makeup on and they act like adults. And that happens at Eurovision, Junior Eurovision quite a bit, to be honest. They get dressed and makeup and perform as if they were in adult Eurovision. And I don't really like that part of the show because I've always been very critical of the beauty pageants in the United States. And so it would be wrong not to be critical of junior Eurovision. And then last but not least, I always want to be as truthful and as honest as I can in my rating videos. If there's something I don't like, I want to criticize it. And if, I, if there's something I like, of course, I'm also telling you about that. However, criticizing people that are younger than 16 years old just feels wrong to me, and I'm not going to do it. If you look at the pictures, Remo Fora and Viktor Vernikos were representing Switzerland and Greece in last adult Eurovision. They were only 16 years old. And even then, I felt a bit weird about talking about their performances. Of course, they are 16. It's different than being 14. But still, I wouldn't feel comfortable at all criticizing a 14 or 13 year old. So I'm not going to do it. However, what I will be doing is looking at the show after it happens, analyzing the results and what that means for adult Eurovision, which without really talking about the kids' performances, but more talking about voting trends and which kinds of songs did well with the jury and the televote. So I hope you understand. That is why I don't like to talk about junior Eurovision in my videos. But if you want to hear me talk about adult Eurovision, see my rating videos, please subscribe and come back for my next video. See you then and bye bye.